is compact, is a headphones amplifier, is a speaker amplifier, everything in one device. What could be? Well, let me help you. Barson Funk. So if you're looking for a device like that, this is the right video for you. Because today we are going to review this baby. So what is the Funk? The Funk is a 3W class A headphones amplifier and 45W class AB speaker amplifier. That means that with just one button you can switch between speaker and your desktop headphones, but we will see it just in a moment later. So class AB instead D, I know some of you guys have some misconceptions regarding class T. Actually, if you are watching these channels, we saw a beautiful, we just reviewed the Project Maya S3, superb class T amplifications with a musicality and a clean performance that just let me really impressed. Take a look of the review, I will let it in the description. So that's my opinion regarding class T amplifications. If it's done properly, wow, it will sound just amazing. But I know, I know that some of you will just mm, class D, uh, okay, no problem. We have for you a class A headphones amplifier and AB speaker amplifier. A desktop solutions for a near field amplifications. No remote control is not an integrated amplifier and is coming with a retail price around 544 bucks. They ship worldwide, so take a look of the website that I will let in description. The Funk is coming with these four small rubber feet that I found perfect. I use it in a desktop position. It's really compact, really small. But if you would like, you can use it also like that. And for a 744 bucks upgrade, you can have also the stand and the V6 op amp. Op amp rolling that I performed, but we'll speak about it later. The design is really elegant, solid, really well made, no plastic. And the volume knob is absolutely so smooth, all aluminum. It's really beautiful. I really like it. On the front, we can find a 6.4 millimeter and a 3.5 headphones output, also with a microphone support. Then we have a sort of uh, high gains, low gains, if you are planning to maybe listen with IM that have a very high sensitivity. With the next button, you can switch between speaker and headphones and in the end, on off button. On the back, pretty simple, we have the RCA input where you are going to connect maybe your digital to analog converter, then speaker terminals that are really beautiful. They can uh, <laughs> accept banana plugs or also spikes or just the wires cables. And then the input for the external power supply, 24 volts. It features the max current technology. So instead to use a power transformer, they use transistors to have less resistance and instant current for a quick response. I will let the link in the description. So if you want more details about it, just take a look. So the funk arrived from Barson. Actually, thank you, Barson, that you sent it to me to review it. Really appreciate it. Anyway, they arrived with this standard op amplifiers, the NE5532. So I connect my RME AD2 DAC and excellent duck i didn't have time to review it sorry for that but unfortunately the overall sound signature was pretty congested and lack in details rme added to that is also headphones amplifier so moving from the rme to the barson funk was a huge gap in terms of imaging details just everything i mean it was not bad but it didn't impress me and actually i make a post on the community sections and i told you guys that i was not satisfied with the sound signature so i contact person audio and told them hey guys here the sounds is probably not what i was expecting and they sent me the v5i op amp that have a retail price around 79 bucks replace the op amp is really easy it's four screw on the front and four on the back i remove it all but you just need to remove the top one then carefully remove the standard ne5532 op amp take a note of this dot that is the pin one and just insert gently the new operational amplifier so really nothing difficult remember to disconnect the power supply you can find also the v5 and the v6 classic or vivid that are a little bit more expensive i didn't test it yet but i hope to do it in the futures for give you also my feedback 
Here I have to say that the user's manuals are really poor made. Uh, Barsons, please, you can do something better. In any case, from the user manuals, you can understand that one op amp is for the input stage of the speaker and the other one for the headphones output. So you can decide to roll up in different ways, speakers or headphones amplifier, make it actually something really interesting. Regarding speaker, I didn't say it. I tested the funk with the Technics C600 speaker. Review it is available, take a look because it's an interesting speaker, but could be fatigue and is absolutely very hard to drive it. Was the funk able to drive it? No, was not. I'm sorry, they are really hard to drive. And I was, yes, uh, I really hoped for it, but so don't go with crazy stuff that has a very low sensitivity and it is maybe hard to drive. Anyway, let's go back to the headphones amplifier sections. And I was pretty excited to check the sound signature of the new operational amplifier V5i. Wow, night and day difference. Everything was more alive, there was more details, it was just more pleasant, absolutely. So, is the new op amp a must to have? In my opinion, yes. But let me break it down. Bass was now warm with the great sub bass extensions and I noticed some colorations on mid bass. Make, especially drums, sounds plentiful, but sometimes too muddy, for my personal taste. Don't expect a superb texture or accuracy on the bass. It's good, it's okay. Midrange is pretty clear and instruments are well reproduced. Voices timber accuracy, especially males, deep voices are like a little bit in presence. But nothing that didn't let me enjoy the funk performance. Moving on tribal, I got a great sense of balance, never fatigue, good airs around instruments, no sibilance or harsh voices, with a beautiful high frequency extensions and textures. So in an easy way, overall, let me say that bass is okay, midrange, betters and tribbles are good. I test the funk with many headphones that I have here in studio. I start with a very high impedance headphones like the Pyrodynamics DT990 that is coming with a 600 ohm impedance and I have to say that the funk was also at max volume so was not playing very very loud but I didn't get any distortions. Then I moved to something really hard to drive like the Hi-Fi Man HE6. Also hear any distortions, but absolutely the funk doesn't have the enough power to drive something like that. So forget to run something like the HE6 or Susvara with the funk. A good matching I found it with the beautiful Sennheiser HD 800S, where the funk was still preserving an analytical sound signature, adding a touch of warmness to the HD 800S bass. Also pairing the funk with the Editions XS, I found that overall there was a great synergy between the two and the funk had all the power to drive it correctly. I really enjoy the Editions XS because they have a lot of micro details and paired with the funk, I got these strings, textures that I was looking for. Absolutely beautiful. Then in the end, I also tested with the Dan Clark Aeon 2 that has a ultra low impedance. And at high volumes, I got some distortions problem. It's a headphones that is hard to drive, I know it already, so you know it that with the funk, also, no way. So in the end, I can say that yes, 300 ohm impedance like HT 800S and Hi-Fi Man Planar Magnetics. I also tested with, tested with the new Mesa 109 Pro that we just reviewed, review in descriptions and was just working perfectly. So considering the price range, I can say that the Funk did a great job to run almost all my headphones. So in the end, I can definitely say that the upgrade to at least the V5i op amp is a must to have. Standard op amp, in my opinions, has muddy voices, no definitions, with bass that is too loose without control. V5i op amp, night and day difference. Regarding speaker, I was sorry to not be able to drive the C600 from Technics. It really could be the perfect solutions for me. But if you take this in account, to not pair it with a low sensitivity speakers, then you will not have any problem. It's a really unique and interesting solution that will bring class A and AB on your desktops. I maybe don't know how many products can do something like that in a so compact size. So take it in consideration. I hope that this review was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please, a like buttons and take it in consideration to subscribe.
to my chance. From it out is everything. See you soon.